right, welcome back to the next segment, Rivers Part Two. Um, I'm, I've just I've been a little displeased by how that last segment turned out about my recording software not taking the whole process um, down. I found out that I had a set limit by how much I could record, and that's that's kind of why I got cut short. So I've changed that, and um, and I thought I would just do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to zoom out and kind of explain what I'm thinking. Um, if you remember on episodes past, I had explained that there's a, a nice ratio that you can make called the gold, golden ratio, where basically you have a focal point and this, the sums of the last two areas should equal the next one. So if you see this pattern I'm following, it's not it's not perfect, but this pattern I'm following, it's like here's a small piece of land. This one's a little bit bigger. And then these two added up should be like your next kind of like interesting focal area, and it's kind of close. And then these three area or these three or two areas added up should be, you know, relevant to this one. And you know, like you can see, I tried to make the landmass smaller by adding in these bays, but it's still a little bit bigger. And then again, this area, this area, you get like a bigger area. Like it just keeps going on. This area plus this area. Now we have this kind of area between the water and now so basically like the rivers are kind of adding barriers between land masses and you can see how this this area is smaller this area is getting bigger and now i'm going to have like a really big land area because i'm going to put a river here so just kind of a little side note of why the rivers are where they are i think this is too many rivers honestly for because i'm going to be putting another one here but i think that's too many it's kind of like bangladesh but you know just for the sake of the game and and like what looks good in it and what plays good um we'll be doing it second thing if you remember i was talking about variants so you can tell that this river is you know it's got narrower bits it's got wider areas it's got wide areas so like i'm really it's looking good i think i did kind of cinch it back a little bit because i thought this curve was way too wide um so you can see it's like you know it just gets narrow when it needs to be gets wide like i really like this um, this next one, I haven't doctored it up yet, but this one is narrower. So this third one, I'm going to make even narrower yet. So um, what I'm thinking about doing is we're going to keep this landmass here just to kind of tighten up the buildable area down here. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is I've cleared this whole area. I've made it very flat. It's perfectly flat. It's the same buildable height. It's 216. I think I'm 216 everywhere. Yeah, I'm about 216 everywhere where you're going to build on. So water level is 201, buildable plane is 216. So that's a 15 meter difference. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, especially with the riverbeds. Just the only problem comes to like transitioning to beaches. But I'll, uh, I'll deal with that when the time comes. So what I'm thinking about doing is, um, you know, like here's your primary river. This is just kind of something different now this one what i really want to do is i want to go even smaller on the brush and make a really low energy meandering one so again it's it, it'll look nothing like this one it'll look nothing like that one i don't want to just keep spitting down the same thing so i'm gonna i'll do a time lapse again but it's gonna probably take me a long time to kind of figure out the the overall shape that I want this to be, but it's I'm I'm not gonna spare any space. I'm going to I'm gonna really have the sucker going, and I'll even probably add in some oxbow lakes. Um, I'll show you those when I'm done. The oxbow lakes, because you gotta you gotta know that what I'm outside of these 25 tiles. Like I'm really focused on what's inside the 25 tiles. I think I've made that very clear. But outside any level that's flat outside, I'm not gonna just leave it as green. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I've already started here. I'm already planning on how I'll be having, you know, agriculture and farms out here. What I normally do is I just, I just switch to the gravel roads and I'll just draw shapes. Like they'll usually be like, you know, they'll usually be pretty farm like. And then, and then like I'll have it all drawn out by roads and then what I'll do is I'll just take my prop line tool with trees and I'll just make shelter belts right on top of the roads and then I'll delete the roads right underneath. 
so that's how I know that I have them at perfect 90 degree angles. And, and like in North America where I live, like the sections and, and, and subdivisions, they're usually squares. So I try to keep them squares as much as I can. And like if there's a dry creek or something, you know, we'll have a different kind of border. Um, but I'll just throw in a few diagonals just to change the, the repetition of it. I don't know why I'm talking so much about this. I'll talk about that later. But just for your knowledge, when I'm building this river, that's kind of like the only thing I'm really going to be thinking about is, is wherever I'm leaving flat area, I'm going to have to fill it up with farmland. And this theme, unfortunately, like I love this theme, but unfortunately it's just not the strongest for farmland. So I'll probably, how's my tree count? I'm at three, I'm at 30,000 and I've got a good amount on 30,000 so I can go eight times more than this. I should be fine. I think I'll be fine with the trees. I'll make it work. I always do. So yeah, so I'm going to start. And again, I'll I'll finish the whole thing in time lapse, and then I'll I'll do a nice little walkthrough and kind of tell you how we got there. First thing you probably saw me do there was I took two highways and I just kind of made a cone shape. Um, that's you don't have to do that. Like it's just something that I do. I pretty much wanted to focus linear boundaries of where this river would go. Um, I just find it easier. Like like I build in lines. Like see like here's a line. This mountain range is a line this chain is a line. It's like, I just, I think that lines are like really pleasing to the eye and good. Um, like I know like God doesn't build in straight lines. Like you probably heard that before, but just kind of like for the overall thing, like you can see, I just have it kind of consolidated in here and like these little oxbow lakes. We'll see, like, I'll just try them out. If they don't work, they don't work and I'll take them out. Cause even without these two like oxbow lakes, I'll still, I think I'll still be happy with um, just kind of like, a the width of the river like you can see how we have clearly three different things like it's great it's they're not the same it's great they're all different um secondly um the water volume so i'm not gonna be worrying about because this is like if you know anything about rivers we would we would call this a low energy river it's not powerful it's not like you know it's not 
blowing away banks or anything like that. It's just slowly finding its way out there. It's just, you know, it's just slowly doing it. So we're going to have the the width very thin, and it's actually going to be really unison. I'm not going to be worrying about making it wider, wider or narrower because, you know, like there's no power. So like it's not eroding things crazy. So we're just going to kind of keep it like this. And um, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to start with the water because we have a flat bed. I'm going to start with the water, and I don't know how many water spawns it's going to take um, for me to get this water going nicely and evenly all the way out to the to the bay. We'll see. And it's got to look good too when it's done. If it doesn't look good, we're not going to do this river because, like, the hardest rivers to draw are the small ones. Okay. Like if you just put a little bit of water out here and then you like zoom out. Well, let's see. If, yeah, see, like it disappears. It looks terrible. See? So I might have to play with the depth in some areas to get it to get it looking good. But um, there's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of, um, of combing over. Let's just see. Yeah, like I even think that's too fast. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll figure it out. But yeah, we're going to start with the water and, um, and I'll let you know how it goes when we're done. And lastly, these two, I, I drew two more roads. Don't worry about them. This is just for me to know. Um, these are going to be my main roads for farms around it. So I just put them there. So I'll, it might be a benefit later just to know where they are for me in case I change anything. But you know, like we'll have, like I'm gonna use up all this in here for farmland. Okay, um, so all done. So what you pretty much saw me doing was, I'll just talk about what I did. I like to make a little barrier so I get all the water going in one direction. I get all the water going left. I don't want, I just find it easier to control. You can, you can get rid of this and let water fall off the edge of the map, but it's just, it's just a different number to factor in. It's just easy if I block it, get all the water flowing one way, and I mean, you can't you can't see it. You, you, you got to like zoom way out to the edge of the map to even know it's there. 
Um, again, so I'm using water spawns. I tried 0.1 or 0.01 right away. Uh, wasn't feeling it. So there's actually a size smaller. It's 0.001. And it's not really 0.001. It's just smaller than 0.01, if you follow me. So what I like to do is I like to place a few of them right at the get-go just to get the water going. And I just keep on placing a new water spawn where the water dies. Like the water will start evaporating, dying, losing momentum. So I'll just put a water spawn right behind it again, again. And I did that all the way until we were out. Okay, so that's that. Um, I do want to point out that we have an elevation change going downhill through this delta. I'm really liking this delta. Didn't plan it. It's going to be like this. You can kind of see the old coastline and how it's been bringing, you know, more and more earth and silt out and now we have growth on it so like you know it's going to be massively touched up of course but but yeah i added a bunch of spawn points on there just because it's really wiry and and thin and ill looking when it's going downhill it's just really so i just added i just plopped on a bunch more right here and it seems to look consistent and should be okay now you probably saw I went all the way through it once and then I come back here and I started adding more. Now, what I was doing, I looked at it and the water for me, it just seemed to be moving too fast. I didn't like it. And believe it or not, the more spawns you add like this, the slower the water gets. Because remember, when I drop a spawn, this, this water is going to go in all directions. It's not just going to go... Wow, that's how small the water spawn is. But, but you get it. it, it it's going in all directions. Right. So when I, when I had this water going really, really, really fast, I add more spawns. And remember, these spawns are actually pushing water upstream too, just as well as downstream. So I'm adding more. I'm pushing water upstream to slow down that fast current. And then it gathers itself and it just starts moving down at a much more stable rate. And that's what you can see here. If you go back in the video, you will see that the water is alarm. Like it's moving alarmingly fast, but now it's to the, you know, it's, it's to the effect I want, where it's slow and hey, there's some nice fields and cows up here, and and you know, it's a backdrop anyway. But we're gonna go all the way on this. All right, next. So the Oxbow Lakes, I'm kind of leaning more towards keeping them. I just tried to kind of mask it with the trees. So what these things actually are. Um, it's like a nice kind of phenomenon where the river, you can see the old path of the river, right? And now the river that you're seeing now has found a shorter, easier way to reattach and has banked itself up with sand and, and you know, sediments and silt and all that. And now this riverbed has become a lake because it no longer has access to the new river. Um, pretty cool. They happen in nature. Uh, they look beautiful. Um, if, if seen from above and like I'm just I'm probably gonna have to figure out a way to like mask it nicer where it just kind of like you zoom out and it just kind of just kind of looks like it belongs there uh, and then like for variants I'll probably like one will have water one will be dried up or you know maybe I'll just get rid of the, you know maybe I'll just get rid of one and just keep one we'll see uh, we'll see but yeah, I think I think this is going to work. And if you want to try something like this in your build, you know, more power to you. So yeah, so this is how we kind of get to the stage where we get the water flowing. It's all good, and now we can make these these fine um, fine modifications to make the river, you know, better than it is. Because like obviously this, you know, this isn't anything to write home about. But we're going to try to get it to the point where we can call it beautiful. Um, there is a couple areas where like, you know, it's still foaming and that's okay. Like I could try to make it deeper or I could try to raise the water to get rid of it. Or I can just add rocks and maybe you'll be like, oh yeah, it's supposed to be rapid there. There's rocks. So we'll play with what we got, but this will be our base um, to get it to the next point.
Okay, so now we're kind of at the end point. Um, still not completely done. There'll be just, you know, like a lot of little, little, little tiny changes. But uh, let me see where we've landed and explain. So I've cut up, like this was about three hours. This took about three hours. And what I did, and I'll just kind of basically go over it, is I, I gently, gently, gently smoothed one whole coastline, like one side all the way down. And then I did the other side all the way down, just making sure that it's a nice, smooth, even um, bank. And then again, what I'm doing, I think you probably saw me, is I'm, I'm just counting the contour lines. So between two and three is usually where I have the sand go up, just so I get that nice, um, nice even unison look. Um, and yeah, so like it's it wasn't overly complicated. I just followed that all the way through, and um, and you know just it looks a lot more natural. Um, secondly, you see these gravel roads. Don't don't pay too much attention to them. I'm going to talk about them later, but basically these are going to be farm fields, and the gravel roads are simply I'm going to replace the gravel roads with trees on the prop line tool. So they work as shelter bail, shelter belts, and I, I'll just keep a couple main ones. So like wherever I have this is where I'm planning on putting fields. So I think we're going to have like a really nice end product where we're going to have a lot of agriculture on this flat area, you know, a couple pockets here and here where we'll have some peaking farms in here on solid ground. And again, we'll have, you know, like a nice um, more farms here. You might have You might have seen me lining this up. And like I was saying, how land is usually – um, you know, measured up and given out in equal um, parallels. So, like, obviously, this is going to be like a main county road, and I wanted to make sure that the, that this road lined up. So, I um I brought this road all the way through, and then simply deleted it because I knew that like people wouldn't put a bridge here on the angle; they'd probably just put it where it was convenient. Um, but I just, you know, like when you back out, you do see that linear line. And I just, I think they're just really attractive. Um, also, you might have seen me, I, I found that when I was counting the contour lines, when I was adding the sand to the banks, I just so happened to notice that my water level dropped, you know, three or four meters by the time I got to the end. I thought that was quite bizarre. It was higher over here and it was lower over here even though my riverbed is flat. So what is happening is I know the game has a physics where it, um, where water evaporates. All right, honestly, honestly, water will just disappear on its own in this game. So it wasn't a big deal. I just, you know, I, I got my small water, water spawns out and I just added some more. And it didn't, you know, like it doesn't really affect the flow. The, the water is always going to go in the same direction. The water is always going to go in the same direction as long as, as all the levels are the same height, which they are. I'm not playing with the heights. Um, you know, like I'll I'll recap. I think most players would just have like a big honk and spawn back here, and if there's too much water, they'd be like you know fidgeting with going up or down, and oh, what a mess. So the way I do it is, if they're all the same height, they're just really small water spawns. So it's not a question of higher or lower with these spawns. It's just a question of how many. I have too much water. I'm going to delete some. I need more water. I'm going to add some. It just, I don't know. I think it makes sense. So just give it a try. Give it a try before you knock it. Um, what else? What else did I have to say about this? Um, oh yeah, the trees. So I'm going to, I'm going to be talking specifically about detailing um, later. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting like a really dense thick coat right along the water line because obviously that's where, you know, trees and vegetation would flourish. And then you might notice, but what I'm doing is I'm taking another brush right after it that's bigger but less dense. And I'm not really thinking about it too much. All I'm trying to do is hide this man-made line. Like obviously you can look at this and say like, wow, that's – not natural at all but with a combination of like right clicks and left clicks i've totally dissipated that man-made feel see how easy that was just a couple right clicks to break the line and some weak pushes and and it's gone like i could do this all day and it just makes it look all natural so again like it doesn't it doesn't take long it's not hard it just you got to be thorough and and consistent with what you're doing um 
really like the way this turned out, especially when you look at it afar. It's it looks it just looks like it belongs. I did get rid of this other one. I just I thought you know just doing one definitely gets the the message across. Um, and then just one last point I want to talk about while I think about it is when the time comes, you know, like all of these roads, like this road here, this road here is going to be a main farming road. So it's probably going to stay. And what I would normally do is I would delete these, use move it to this. So it's within 12. Switch to my gravel road. Reconnect. And now what have I done? I've turned this whole road that had, what, seven nodes in it down to four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. See? So, again, I'm just – it's just kind of a little bit advanced, but I'm not going to throw out these nodes like candy. Um, the only thing you want to do is double check that when you zoom in, it doesn't disappear because that is that is a – the game can't render it if it's stretched too far and, like, there's no problems with this. So, yeah, so – just any any kind of chance I get. I'll try to talk about it later, but I just don't want to forget anything. And I looked down and I just thought about that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're probably – like, I hope you're not sitting there thinking, wow, this guy's just wasting nodes. But I'll clean it up as best I can. I'll clean up every, every segment. But, yeah, like, I think this looks really good. It's kind of fun. You know, it's – and I've given this whole area, like, a complete personality. A complete personality and it stands apart from the others i know it's outside the 25 so like you know when you're building here it'll kind of be a farming backdrop uh, backdrop but that's okay 